Sphinx Arati just joined. Let me pause this debate. What? What's happening? How y'all doing? Good. Yeah. Oh, look, we all got a cute color in our hair. And that's so period. So you already know we got good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> we are good vibes good. only. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so happy that you guys were able to make it on today. Um, Thank you for having us. I got the little debate playing in the background. I'm going to rewind it once we're done, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be like, what y'all talking about over there? Yeah. But I want to start this out with asking because I know you guys are into like zodiacs and stuff like that. How y'all doing was. during this retrograde? Oh! It, snapped, you... it snapped me by my the, little waves. The it double. <laughs> so, so here's my problem with this retrograde. My problem is the fact that not only is it Mercury, it's Mars. So we're just getting slapped all around. like. <laughs> and then like the moon is in Libra and the sun is like in Scorpio. So it's like relationships and past people coming in. It was too Girl, much. and see, I am a Scorpio. So I've been have I've been checking like, you know, when you go through like your IG stories and you're like, oh, now you want to pop up, huh? <laughs> okay, retrograde. I see you <laughs> acting up. <laughs> Otherwise, um, would you guys consider yourself to be? So, by the way, I'm not like a messy interviewer. I'm mm -hmm. kind of like a vibey interviewer. So sometimes my questions might be a little different, just so you know. <laughs> but are you guys consider yourselves to be spiritual? Yeah, we just tapped into the tarot readings on YouTube. We haven't got a deck ourselves, but you know we've been diddle dabbling. I feel With like some decks. <laughs> what was that? Got you got decks? Girl, one, two. I have <laughs> seven decks. Um, six of them are oracle cards. One is tarot. Mm -hmm. So, like, literally in my window seal, I have, like, a spread of, like, five different decks that I've been pulling from over time. And it's, like, literally been my ancestors getting me together. Yeah. Wow. Well, then after this, we got to set a time up. And Heck, yeah. <laughs> and you guys need to definitely follow Big Empress Energy, like, she okay. get your life together period okay thank um, you but so last year you guys actually dropped a christmas song are we gonna mm -hmm. get another one this year or no we're working on one we just okay. we got it with found felicia and jay blaze who have like three records on our ep that's coming out which i'm pretty sure we'll talk about this soon but we just got <laughs> <laughs> we just got it with them and that one's that one's cute it's definitely a different vibe mm -hmm. um but we're, we're working on some stuff but i feel like christmas with you like no i wasn't really making christmas music last year and i feel no. like oh like, you know yeah yeah we're excited you know christmas is one of our favorite holidays so i'm here for it um i'm just here for finding like i'm not gonna front i'm not because i am spiritual i'm not always like into like the holiday vibes mm -hmm. like that but with us all being so separate i'm like you know what let's do a thanksgiving dinner and not tell anybody let's go yeah. <laughs> i actually miss you guys for once your secret <laughs> is safe with me <laughs> so now also you guys are signed to rock nation so mm -hmm. i would love to know is it what you expected Oh, or more. I didn't say I didn't expect to see Jay Z as much as we did. Like mm. I didn't expect to see him at all, but we saw a couple of times. And that, and also just being at a label where it's artist driven, so we mm -hmm. have like a lot of input and say when it comes to creative, you know, creatively with the music, you know, mm -hmm. our image and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So we're very grateful to be, you know, with Rock Nation and yeah, you know, yeah, get to be ourselves but still elevate. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What would you say is like some great advice that you've gotten since you've gotten with Rock Nation? Um, this is from Jay Z himself. He was like, basically, you know, be humble, but every now and then you gotta be cocky and let them know who they messing with. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Because you know, people forget it's like, oh, they're so nice now, and it's like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I'm nice because I'm not trying to get flamed anywhere, but don't get it twisted. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of that, with everything that's going on with you guys, like. I know some people think it might be moving fast, but you guys have been doing this for a while, but things have definitely ramped up lately. So how are you keeping each other grounded? Shoot, like even with this week, we had some, we had the um, EP release party yesterday. Um, we our EP's releasing tonight. We got you know, so many drops and managing YouTube and the music videos over during COVID. Um, Drive the music video. <laughs> I think the fact that we're sisters and we're kind of like on the same wavelength and, you know, she's she's my other half, I'm her other half. So when one's kind of like 
you know, tired or slipping, the other one will pick up for it. But um, mm -hmm. just having a great foundation with our mom, you know, managing us and just keeping us in line. Make sure we fed. You know, mom be cooking for us still, you feel me? Just, you know. <laughs> Girl, and there's nothing better than a home-cooked meal right now, especially with COVID. It's like, do I really want to order or do I got something in the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> You um, like, Mama, you got you, you make some food? Like, yes, I got you. Period. <laughs> like, you sometimes won't even be hungry, but because it's mom's food, it's like, you know what? I'm going to have a couple bites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did see that you guys um, performed on Nickelodeon. How oh, is yeah. that? I love that. Oh, well, that was crazy. Um, we I literally cried when we seen it on TV. Yeah. The experience, like, everyone was so cool. Um, the, the audience was before COVID, so um, the energy was definitely there. All the people who worked on it while TLC performed mm -hmm. worked on it for us. The art episode. So yeah. We all came to get so they're like, you guys are giving us this whole nostalgic vibe. And we're like, oh, man, the things it means a lot. Yeah. I actually agree. So, like, I took a second and I was able to find this, the one the thing that you did with the CW where you redid, I want to say, Waterfalls. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because like I've been listening to you guys since um the Sarati playlist and my favorite song was Slay. So Aye! I still I keep playing, I'm not gonna cry. Aye! I still be playing I'll be like, like, that's like, a big like a <laughs> But yeah, that is my song and so when I heard that I was still able to hear like pieces of yourselves that you put in there and it wasn't just like you guys were covering your song, like you literally made it your own, but it was still mm -hmm. super lit. So shout out to you guys on that one. Thank um, you. One more on the spiritual tip. When did you learn about manifesting? Because for me, I started like watching The Secret and then that was how I learned. But I feel like some people, they kind of have like a moment where someone kind of told them something. Like what would your moment have been, if one at all? Um, I would say our mom. Yeah, she just... always tells us like, imagine it or put that energy out and it's gonna come to you. It's more so the energy out yeah. there. So it's like, when we talked about all that, we we actually manifested that we were like oh we want to be on nickelodeon and then boom that happened or we're going to do a tlc tribute we that wish happened. it could have been on an actual stage in front of people but like we could take we'll take what we can get yeah right <laughs> like yeah that's you know, crazy we've been calling it out so with this ep you know we feel like well, we have some bops on there so we should do great numbers mm -hmm. i'm here for it and speaking of the ep you know your last one slides playlist it is one year old so how would you say that you've grown since dropping that Shoot, I feel like we're nice young women, you know. We, we can cuss now in our music. <laughs> we're stepping more into our, like, feminine energy, you know, being more vocal, whether it's, you know, we just want a one-night stand or we want a relationship or, hey, you did me foul. Like, you mm -hmm. know, really using our voice. And, like, kind of going off of the stories that happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, we have more writers and producers helping us out. You know, the team is growing bigger. The mm -hmm. sound is, you know, elevating yeah. sounds for full and whatnot. Experimenting and yeah. whatnot. You know, um, we have Hit Boy that helped produce G. Dave. Jay um, Blaze. Uh, Bankroll Got It. So. Geo, Fallon Felicia. Yeah, so we just got a little, you know, a little team mm -hmm. over there to help with the get ready. Some bobbity box. <laughs> <laughs> I seen someone in the comment was like, ooh, we're getting explicit songs. <laughs> <laughs> like they're super popular. Maybe, maybe we dip in the toe and maybe a little we bit. Just, we just sprinkle in it in there. There has to be growth. There has to be a journey. We can't just yeah. be like, hey, I <laughs> Fair enough. Um, let's talk about it. So the new project, Get Ready With Me. How did we come up with the title? Okay, so with the title, everybody knows it's from YouTube. It's mm -hmm. kind of, we kind of kept the same thing with Sarati's playlist because um, we're known for the playlist and whatnot. So Get Ready With Me is we're kind of like our second biggest video where we would do our makeup, get ready. Um, sometimes we would do like a playlist along with the Get Ready With Me video. But mm -hmm. with these songs, you can play them before you go out, whether it's like I'm going on a date or I'm going to go yes. out with my girls, you know, just different vibes. Or we're Cleaning in the house. house. Yeah, just get doing ready. makeup, driving in traffic. Yes. It's Vibe good. period. Sleepovers, you name it. <laughs> okay, and you know what? That was one thing I did like about Sorati's playlist is that it was a vibe. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, if I was annoyed with a dude, it was like, this is what we're gonna do. Like, oh my god, he's trying to play me. This is what it is. I'm hey! trying to get a little hype. I'm gonna toss on sway. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I was. What is like some advice that you have for like maybe some of your fans that just I don't know maybe aren't feeling themselves during COVID? Like kind of like a like a big sister pick me up. Like, to our sororities, if y'all feel like we're pretty, you guys are a reflection of us. So if we're pretty, y'all are gorgeous, okay? Y'all are drop-dead gorgeous. Sororities are the baddest in the world, and that's all in Queenie. <laughs> and I also, I'm going to say, it's just like, 
you know, with quarantine again to a slow, I know there's times we're like, okay, we can't go nowhere, da da da. Ain't nothing wrong with just, putting, you know, if you want to get up, like you're about to go to the club, but you really just go into the living room or the kitchen to go eat, mm -hmm. just do that. Make yourself feel like it's nothing wrong with getting cute just to go to the living room. It's all yeah. good. Period. I think the one time I like literally put on like a little lingerie top and like some heels and some cute jeans, did my hair, literally went to the dispensary and came back home. <laughs> too whenever i like we're feeling bad i don't know when i'm feeling bad i'll play some music and start twerking <laughs> just start twerking you gotta throw it back oh you, gotta, you, gotta, you know yeah. it's good to get your practice in now because once the parties are starting to open up and we can all you know get it going you you know you started off maybe uh beginner and then now you're maybe, maybe intermediate or advanced okay yes. yeah. or expert okay mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not gonna front i do i did have a bruise from like <laughs> i had like a bruise for about a week trying to twerk I was drunk, so I don't know what I fell on, but <laughs> it left the mark, and I was like, we'll try it again next time. We're, we're that was ours, baby. You was getting you that work in. <laughs> Give them the knees right. So, for for clarification, the EP drops tonight at 9 p.m., or are we waiting until midnight all across? Okay, so it's weird because we're on the West Coast, so it's like, well, for, like, East Coast, it will be midnight, but for us, I think it's going to be, nine. what, 9 o'clock? So, it's like, three hours. Right? We have a, we're we going to post a video of this interview because it's definitely just letting everybody know, hey, we, we about to... EB's driving! <laughs> I'm here for it. Now, why only seven songs? I know your last one was five, but why only seven songs? Like, why not a full ten? I feel like, you know, it just it just felt good. It just felt like a good number. Lucky seven. Lucky number seven. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like, too, like, we uh, recorded, like, a good amount of songs. But I feel yeah. like those are the ones that really stuck with us. Mm -hmm. um, as far as, like, an EP, like, an album was, like, a little bit longer, you okay. know. So we're not album yet, second EP. To, to give you a little difference, okay, we went from five to seven. Y'all get too long. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, five. Five was a powerful number. Seven <laughs> is another powerful number. We're moving in numbers. Okay, completion. And, mm -hmm. and I don't remember what seven is, but it's definitely a lucky one. Um. Mm -hmm. Now, of the songs that we do know, we have BFF, we have Favorite, and Secure the Bag. Mm -hmm. yes. I love BFF because it's just, like, about pumping up your best friend. Yes. Me and my homegirls, we've been knocking off goals left and right. I was like, hey, this it might be time for another. You know we got to do it one time. You know? <laughs> I was like, it might be time for another vision board. Because I know some people do them, like, once a year. But I was like, we should start doing them yearly. Make them smaller. That way we can really, like, hone in on it. And yeah. mine is just about done. Hers is just about done. So, what I want to know is, well, whose idea was it to put the cop in the trunk? That wasn't me. It was, there was definitely <laughs> the, the director's person, Jacob, but we was ready to do what we have to do. It was, we, were, we weren't scared, you know, when yeah. he put the gun in my hand, we was like, man, get the fuck. It wasn't loaded. It was a fake gun. It was a total but. prop. Y'all, you see, you see me, you know, dismantle me. I said, Rush hour. <laughs> I was dying because I was like, I really feel like if they were really in the mood, this is kind of how it would go down. <laughs> Look, Sarati, like, when it's time to go and, 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 and go ahead to head with somebody, they don't want to see us, okay? Period. <laughs> now, I also like your song, Favorite. And I was wondering, because, you know, Nicki Minaj had her song, Favorite, and it was nice. <gasps> so would you think about putting her on the remix? Or I, Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I like... High school, I, Nicki Minaj. I don't know how I remember Super Bass, but I remember Super Bass. Like, like we're some barbs for sure. Okay, okay. So, so hopefully we can get that manifested. That's manifest. Get us. I just Nikki. was like, I heard it was like, we'll oh, give her some time with her newborn baby. Congrats to her. We'll give her some time, but you know, once it reaches one years old, we gonna need her on a song. <laughs> I mean, I feel like she recently just did a um a song, and I was like, didn't she do that right after the pregnancy? She might have oh, some yes. energy. Yes. She might have some energy. <laughs> um, is is Secure the Bag gonna get a music video? Man. You know what? Everyone was asking for it. We wanted to do one, but you know, maybe when this EP drops and when people recircle that song back, hopefully, we don't know. We got a lot of other songs that might go crazy. I, I know they're gonna go crazy, mm -hmm. but I feel like we'll have to choose. Like, if we could, video. we would have videos for every song. You know yeah. what? We could. We could. I feel like it, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be something big. Like we, we're known for like the organic stuff, so that yeah. might you guys might get a video. Mm -hmm. Just back. Even not, if it's like TikTok mind. style, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I feel like I'm so in nowadays. Like it would be a vibe. It would be a vibe. Um, is on God anything like sway? And if not, what is the vibe? You know what's <laughs> crazy? That like 
being from Cali, you know, I mean, I don't know who else says it on God, but I've oh, heard God. it on the West Side. But um, you naturally hear it, you're thinking like it's about to be on some rah rah. But actually, this one is is a definitely an R and B vibe, but it got a little bounce to it, and okay. um, we're definitely telling whatever f boy we dealing with that we ain't dealing with you no more. So it's not on God, I ain't messing with you. All right. And it's, it's kind of like a West Coast to the left Beyonce. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. That's a yeah, good one. To the left, to the left. Airplane to the left. Yeah, to the left. Okay, so on God, I'm over. Okay, I'm here for it. Um, Let's go. 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 let us go and that includes yourself if it's actually you. So the first one is, who gives the best advice? Her. <laughs> Don't listen to me. It's her. <laughs> well, okay. should be ready to go. She has a lot of Aquarian in her chart. Yeah, I'm, I can be impulsive sometimes. <laughs> and savage. She's, she's like, mm. <laughs> I do, I don't think. <laughs> Which sister is the better cook? OK. But she, what she, cook? she cooks more. But when I do cook, I'm I'm good. But like she, she did, she did dabble in some cooking. She did like a lemon pepper chicken. Or yes, something. I did. It was a mess. I had a little cat taco you duck, felt me? and she can bake some mean cookies. Okay, I'm a good baker. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make this one be even. Uh, who is the most vocal in the studio? <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, you know. One time, someone called me. They said you're a female Kanye, and this is before. This is before, before I got signed. Before anything, anything extra happened. With this is before anybody want to say something about Kanye. You know, he was just like vocal. And everyone was like, "That's yeah. Kanye." He's speaking his talk. That was me. You mm -hmm. know, but I've I've grown. But I mean, I wasn't disrespectful. I, I mean, we paid 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 you ain't it nicer. <laughs> yeah, we paid oh, it was nice. Yeah, I'm just telling them this is what it is. Like we have a vision and we see it. But yeah, like, I'm just like here, fix the point. For doing. any future artists or people who want to be artists, do not be ashamed to be vocal. You're paying for the studio time. You're paying for the record. So you need to get what you need to get. Yeah, Period. especially if you guys have like a track record of people like messing with your music and mm -hmm. you have a flow. Like we, you know, we wrote literally every song on the first EP. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Why wouldn't we have any input on like the second project? Yeah, but yeah. as long as you keep it respectful, you good. Mm -hmm. That's on period, especially when it's with your money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who freaked out the most when you met Beyonce? Yeah, me. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Definitely I freaked out when I met Jay Z. I ran. I ran away. I said, I'm gonna go to Jay Z. <laughs> 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 and, and I cried. Oh my god, terrible. Who slid in the DM of their favorite celeb? Yeah, that's you. That's me. That is you. No shame in my game. Shooter shoot. Close mouths don't get fed. <laughs> you got any you got any slide in DM pointers? You know what? I wanna I wanna slide in some DMs, but I gotta see what's what's Sometimes you can go on like a funny, goofy approach if people know you for which I mean, just do what you feel, but never be too thirsty. Throw it, try to throw it out there like that. But you gotta be. Di I mean, don't try to strive for different, obviously, because sometimes mm -hmm. that'll kill your vibe. Sorry, kill mm -hmm. your vibe. But you want to be different, though. Come at, don't come at it basic, okay? Mm -hmm. People like to put the basketball in and like, oh my basketball, or or the dog emoji. Oh my <laughs> dog. Send a picture of like a who holy does that? Be like, I'm moving in here, yeah. <laughs> or I'm trying to live here rent free. Or something. Sometimes a lot of people like it when you're straight up like, hey, I think you're cute. Text me, and they be like, oh. I've done it. I've, I've asked somebody on a date before. Yeah. I'm like, let me take you. Oh out. yeah, they like that. Oh, when the females be asking, like, let yeah, me take you out. Yeah, you out. Be like, let me take you out on a date. They be like, <laughs> when? <laughs> I think it was a little pampering today. Look, look, look. They started to do the the um the snowflake emoji. I just seen somebody comment that like so many people was doing that. I'm just like that. I feel like that was like a moment for like Quavo and Sweetie. Like mm -hmm. y'all gotta be different, okay? That's like, that's their story that they're gonna tell their children. Yeah, I'm like y'all can't be copying somebody else's game. You feel me? You gotta be different. I'm so, here yeah. for it. <laughs> that brings me to my next question. Who is the petty sister? You're not petty. You just put people in their place. Well, maybe people, people, <laughs> yeah, people think I'm petty, but I'm just straight up, and and I'll tell it factual. But if we have to put it in that, then yeah, she can get petty though. 
Bitch, y'all haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'd be keeping that behind closed doors. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm going to just mind my business. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my vibes right over here. Mm -hmm. Who picks the most songs on your playlist? I would say me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have the same taste, so yeah. it doesn't even matter. I'm like, I know she's going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know she likes to listen to, like, old music. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, more so, like, I kind of, like, dig into the new music just in case we have to do, like, a YouTube playlist or yeah. we're hosting an event or something. And it's like, okay, let me put something that the people But, you know, know, I was driving her and my mom or our, our mom around, and I said, Future came on. She said, I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. want to listen to some Future. Like, oh, my, that's okay. my mom. astrology first yeah yeah just because i'm the oldest mm -hmm. fair um now this one isn't a witch sister question it's basically like a you or you uh what is your end goal before the year is over end goal before the year is over um is this like personal or for like the group uh either or well shoot um, for our ep to chart yeah, go crazy. Um, if not the whole EP, then let's get at least one song. You hear that, Sariders? Let's make a chart! <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just want people to, like, see Sarati for the amazing, talented group that we are. Mm -hmm. You know, what the whole... I feel like people are starting to see it now. You know, we're popping in and out of places. Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, get the coins. You always, you know, collect the bag. Secure the bag. Secure the bag, yeah. always. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I feel like everything else, we like, whether it's, like, you know, continuing to build a, you know, a healthy relationship with the family and, you know, staying grounded. I feel like we've been tackling that and being independent and mm -hmm. being smart. I think finding more time, too, for, like, self-care. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we be getting no sleep. I mean, we had, oh, we had a masseuse at our EP release party yesterday, and we didn't get no massage. Not one, but two masseuses. We had two masseuses. And we didn't get no massage. I was like, dang, I was trying to get rid of down. I'm going to need y'all to make an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> well on sunday because you know sunday is like the self-care day we're like you yeah. know kind of clean up you know wash dishes get your back rub you feel me yeah. um either way i want to thank you guys for pulling up thank uh, you your ep get ready with me drops tonight well p and w time it drops at 9 p.m everywhere else it drops on midnight um your comments are wild <laughs> <laughs> like you ain't talking you ain't doing nothing right all right <laughs> that's some period um i will ask this while you guys are here do you want to comment on trump or trey songs no that's what i've been saying all damn about time the EP that's releasing tonight bye we going out we giving y'all new material and we got a music video dropping tomorrow that's y'all yeah. little exclusive as well so that means mind your damn business in the comments. <laughs> My thing is, everybody knows it's just, it's just bye. I don't know why they're still here. A lot of people just like asking the same question. They, they're all, they're mad because we're on the interview with you. They want to be interviewing with you. Like, yeah, we're, we're we're making moves, okay? We're still here, all right? <laughs> they're, mad they're, they're mad because Sarati's not canceled, okay? You can't cancel Sarati. <laughs> I don't even know if canceling anyone is real, but that's all. It's that's not, a whole different it's story just, for another day. It was day. just a you little activity I mean. for them to do during quarantine. Watch when this stuff comes out. They'll have to go back to their job and whatnot. It's all Period. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's petty. Emotion. What's the what's song say? We all got the same 24 hours. Why you hating on me? Exactly. <laughs> What else are you doing with your day besides being in my comments? Exactly. <laughs> they waste their, their time, their 24 hours focusing on, on us, and we're over here collecting a bag. Okay? Connecting. Hey, they running our numbers up, so go ahead. Thank <laughs> you. Make sure you tune in. EP coming out tonight. <laughs> oh, that's right. If you guys pull up to Seattle when we don't have COVID, definitely come up to the studio. I want to thank you guys again for coming and for the good vibes, period. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye.